Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm dramatizing this quite a bit, but no, honestly, I should probably do this on the grass, shouldn't I? I'm gonna start placing all those pieces in these little gaps, the side there, the side there. Just chuck it in. It creates its own random look. And for me, that's the best way. So behind me is an empty aquarium. That's not gonna do, is it? Let's build something. So guys, I'm down at my favorite part of the river. Now it's actually currently flooded at the moment. It's usually more exposed than this, but we've had tons of rain recently in the UK and uh, most of the area is flooded, but that's all right. There's still loads of cool little things to choose from. Let me turn you around so you can have a look. Okay, so there's all this sort of pebbles down here. We've got different gradings, we've got fine stuff. It all can be washed out, remember, as well. So that's cool. You know, there's some that's underwater here as well. There's some bigger stuff further in, but obviously that's not exposed at the moment. We can come back when I need to. But there's also up on this bank here, look. Oh, I should point out that this is my friend's area of the river, so I'm okay to take whatever I want. Just be sure you're all right to take stuff from nature wherever you're doing it. So look at all these different rocks. So something like this could work really well on the edge of the water because like it's got nice flat area so that we can get the newts to climb out on. And then this bit in the top area as well would work also, I think, because it just looks so natural and like, well, that one did before I just ruined it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get some of this stuff in the bucket down there <laughs> and we can take it back with us then and get some of it into the aquarium. It's gonna look super natural doing it this way. Oh my God, this is heavy. Right, so I've arrived back home. Guess what's happened? I've only gone and broken my bucket. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, but it's so annoying. Right, I've got my rocks here. Going to get them in and get them washed up. Okay guys, so excuse the noise, but we've basically got all of the rocks look. All the rocks are now cleaned, ready to go. I need to go back to the river though, because I need to collect more of the, you know, the finer gravels and stuff that we saw there, because they are going to look sweet. Okay guys, since I was last here and collected the rocks, it's been raining a lot more. It's actually, it's actually raining now, so I need to hurry up. I mean, I feel like I'm dramatizing this quite a bit, but no, honestly, it is raining again. It won't stop raining in the UK at the moment. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! Right, so here's our stones that I'm talking about. So obviously the closer you go to the water, the more coarse they get. But up the top here, there's some more fine stuff. So we want to get a nice variety, don't we? Now, obviously guys, all this stuff's going to be washed. So not a problem, just chuck it all in. We can wash out any dirt, that sort of stuff later on. <sighs> Right, we successfully got the gravel all in there. Let's get back to the studio. <laughs> oh, that sounds very official. <laughs> I should probably do this on the grass, shouldn't I? So yeah, let's just fill it all up fill it all up and we can wash off any of the grime that's in there just gonna leave it in there just clonk it in look get it in deep that's what she said <laughs> sorry i do apologize but yeah that substrate is probably gonna look quite dark but that's not a problem i mean we've got the really light substrate next to it in pancho's tank and i think it'll be quite nice to have something different and as you can see i've got the sexy crocs on why wouldn't I? But yeah, I'm just gonna let this clean off and then I'm gonna put it straight into the tank with a load of the lava rock stuff, the uh, volcano, uh, what's it called? The JBL volcano, you know what I mean? The, the volcano, to the lava rock, crushed lava rock. That's going in there first with that. So we've got a nice base then for our rocks to sit on. We can angle them how we want them without fear of them falling over. We can just make something really realistic and nice. So just because we're building something, guys, doesn't mean that things stop in the fish room. So behind me right now, as you can see, we've got pumpkin spawning. Don't worry, guys, don't worry. I'm keeping an eye on it, making sure that they're not bullying her too much. If need be, I can take her out for a, for a, a rest. 
but you can see like the water's gone sort of milky from the males releasing their sperm. <laughs> I have actually pressed out majority of the eggs from pumpkin just so we can get the process over quicker because these guys will calm right down then and leave her alone. But for the time being, look, they're, they're harassing her a little bit, but it's very easy to make the eggs come out. You just turn them upside down and just gen ever so gently push through onto the stomach area and they all pop out. Now that sounds more sort of bad than it is. I didn't want to film it because sometimes people get funny about that. But if we can stop them doing what they're doing now quicker, then we will. I will keep an eye on her, like I said. And if I need to put her somewhere else for the time being, I can do so. For instance, remember guys, we set up this tank last weekend. Was it last weekend? Anyway, at some point, I can just put her in here if I need to. It's actually the same temperature as well as her tank. So I can move her across if need be. But at the moment, they're all right. They're just doing their thing. If I see it going on for too long, yeah, I will just let her have a rest. Vampire shrimp update, guys. So you saw me put the vampire shrimp into here a few sessions ago. It looks like top comment for name is going to be Vlad. So Vlad the vampire shrimp. It is a male, someone told me as well. So that actually suits really nicely. I haven't actually seen him come out yet. But we'll give him time. We'll give him time. As I said before, he molted in his video. Uh, he's in that gap right in there that's his like little cave area i keep seeing him popping in and out and i saw him come out enough up this side so i could actually see him so he is coming out a little bit more each time but as i said we'll just give him a bit of time he'll come out when he's ready don't need to rush these things do we but yeah this tank is coming along nicely guys look at this now like everything's filling in all the anubius is spreading someone asked me if this is outdoor ivy or indoor ivy i don't know if there's a difference I don't know, but it's just ivy. <laughs> Either way, look, it's growing lovely. All these new leaves, look. These green ones are new leaves, but overall it's looking fantastic. Fly watch, guys. So as you can see, can't at the moment see any flies. So hopefully we're winning that battle as well. Mike's doing great. Hey, Mikey. I better feed him now because he thinks he's going to get fed. I like to feed him like once a day. I don't always do it around the same time. Maybe I should. Does that matter? I don't know if that matters. Anyway, let's give him some food. Right, so what I like to do, look, I left this little gap here and he knows that's where I feed him from gonna go and oh he's being nervous oh look it's already because of the surface tension it already spreads out for him whoop. go on whoop. Whoop. loving it loving it nice one mike his coloration's great isn't it it's like properly vivid that red if i can focus on him there we go look at that he's a great looking boy guys isn't he down in the bottom of the tank though look the uh monte carlo is thick now it might need to be trimmed soon we've got some sort of more sort of deady ones on the top well they're not dead really are they like it's just not as vibrant as the other areas but it all looks good didn't it that moss is getting out of control i might trim it right back soon expose a bit more of that proper bright red at the back the reason that's the the hr stems well rotala hr if you don't know the reason it's so red is because this is a twin star light rgb so red green and blue leds and it really does bring out the reds not only in mic but also in the plants as well so it looks brilliant doesn't it so i'm sat there thinking oh let's get started on the tank and then i completely forgot i don't even have a light for it <laughs> so what i'm going to do is just take this light down that i'm using for like well that i was using for the dirty tank versus the axle tank you can check out that video previously i don't really need it there now and i've got uh, and i've got the flexi mini light this little one here which is also on the shrimp tank there look you can see it's the same light it's actually a really good light so I'm going to put that one on here and then we can use this light above the new aquatorium. Yay, voila, we have light. Right, there we have it, the light's on, ready to go. Let's get that volcano mineral in and also the gravel that we collected down by the river. Let's get that in as well so we've got a nice base to build on. But before we do that, just quickly, how good does the dirty tank look with that light? Like I say, it's the Flexi Mini. I don't think they actually make them anymore, but it's a really good light. It was quite cheap when I bought it, actually. I bought it as a unit with not this tank, but a very similar tank, but smaller, and the, and the light came with it as well, because it's the same as what we've got on this side, but it makes the reds great, and the greens really pop as well. So, yeah, that one is the same as that one. So hopefully we get some even more red coming through now from the old Tanamp from the Ricky Richie Dicker. Anyway, gravel time. Changing that. I'm actually just gonna put the rocks in first, why not? You know, then we can get our layer down and we'll know where to put the gravel after. So that's like a nice little base layer there. Obviously I'm gonna put a small rock in front of this sheer 
surface there. I might have like an overhang or something like that as well. But then we're going to put the gravel, well, the volcano mineral from JBL. That'll go at the back there and just build up a little bit of a layer. And then we can put more rocks on top of that and sort of stagger the effect backwards, you know. And then coming near the surface, we can have all the terrestrial plants and the waterfall. Well, not waterfall, but, you know, like this. Like this one I've got here. This, for anyone who doesn't know, is Pancho's Paladarium. Look what he's done to the front. <laughs> he's made a little wave where he's been going backwards and forwards. But yeah, look, if you look at the top here, we've got the spray bar at the back that just trickle feeds water all the way down. I want to do a similar thing this side, but I probably don't want to go as high with the, you know, back wall. And yeah, of course I do. Why not? More green, the better. I'll keep it up there, but you've got to be careful because newts will climb. I might even need to add a lid to this tank, to be fair, like a mesh lid over the top. Because newts spend a lot of their time in the water, but they will come out and crawl over anywhere as well, which is from what I've read. But I need 70% water to land ratio. So if I just build this up a little bit more, we'll have a nice moss land area just sweeping around in that corner. I think that'll look wicked. Let's get on with that then. I'll get that volcano mineral right in there now. So I think I've got a really nice wall going at the front here. I mean, I say wall, but it's a pile of rocks. You know what I mean? At the back there, look, I put a, just a random rock. You can see that doesn't actually follow in with the rest of the sort of style of rocks. You want to try and keep to the same look if you can. Uh, but I've added that in just to, just to sort of block that area out. So we don't have to use so much of the, of the gravel, you know, the volcano mineral. You know, it's quite expensive stuff at the end of the day. So we want to use as minimal as we need to. There's a whole bag in there already. If I just keep filling out all the gaps with the different rocks and then I can pour the volcano stuff around it. Because basically I don't want any areas that the nukes can just climb in and get stuck. It don't matter if they climb around like sort of the edges around here because we can move all of that if they are stuck, but they won't get stuck in those anyway. But like if they manage to get all the way in here and yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that. So let's just blank it out even more and fill up as we go and just keep it completely level and no gaps anywhere. Oh, and it also appears we have an audience. <laughs> He's just watching everything I'm doing. It's so cute. Punchy punch. Punchu. Like I said, look, then we've got that nice little flat area there and that'll be perfect for this big bit. Some nice little bits of moss on it as well. Let's get that bit in. Ugh, this is dangerous one-handed. So I've pretty much now got it where I want it to be. I just need to go back to the river from where I got these rocks from and get some smaller rocks just to plug in all the gaps because I've used everything and I don't want to smash anything up. So I'll quickly nip and get some more. Don't need to film that, you've already seen it once. Okay, I'm back. Probably went way too over the top with what I needed because I've got a lot in there. <laughs> but anyway, it's always better to have too much than too little. So I'm going to start packing it. Let me turn you around. I'm going to start placing all those pieces in these little gaps, the side there, the side there. I've deliberately kept this area sort of lower because that's where the intake for the filter is going to run this back area here you can see there's a gap at the back i'll fill that right up as well i want to have a nice big sort of land area of moss on the top quite sort of flat and hilly like i think that'll look pretty good maybe put some ferns right at the back corner there so they sort of provide like an overhanged shade area i think that'll look really good as well first of all let's get all these gaps filled put in these other rocks So I was putting all those rocks in there then and covering the gaps and I thought, what the hell am I doing? I can make a whole big sort of waterfall, make the whole thing, make this whole section here, uh, there, just trickle all the way down as one big waterfall. How cool would that be? Like, it had the capabilities to do it, so let's just go for it. that's pretty much the gist of it obviously there'll be a couple more sort of rocks spouting over the top here to cover the outlet of the water flow but what i'm going to do is make like a v pipe 
out of just some posing. And then we can have it spray out in sort of like an elongated section. That should look really good then. Give us a really nice spread of flow as well to create a really cool waterfall that just cascades all the way down to all of it. How sick is that going to look? So I get lots of people ask me, oh, how do you decide on like what you're doing? And as you go along, how are you deciding? I'm not. I'm just chucking it in. Nature looks cool, did not it? And when you start, I think anyway, when you start fiddling with it and trying to make it look pleasing to the eye, just chuck it in. It creates its own random look. And for me, that's the best way. Just make sure you've got enough of everything. That's the key. If you haven't got many things, then it just looks rubbish. Nature's full of stuff. So whatever you choose to do, whether it's plant, hardscape, or you know whatever it is just get lots of it as much as you can afford and just get it in there and it'll sort itself out as i said earlier on in the video guys i want to actually build this one along with you like in the vlog style that i just love doing videos in vlog style i want to do a build like that as well so in the next video we can move on to adding deck to gravel at the front the mosses the wood all that sort of stuff i don't know how far we'll get through because it's a vlog so we'll just see what happens hopefully you've enjoyed that you've enjoyed this style at the end i think what i'll do is just put all of it together into one piece as a collective from the start to the finish. That way we've got the best of both worlds. I get to vlog, but we also get a full build video. Probably the best way of doing it in my opinion.